Now tonight, a Channel 4 News investigation exposing what city officials admit could be widespread fraud in the taxi cab business. Reporter Joel Grover here now with his exclusive undercover investigation. Joel. Well, Paul, have you ever wondered if you're getting ripped off when taking a taxi ride? Well, wait till you see what we caught on a hidden camera. Acting on information from insiders, we've uncovered possible fraud and criminal behavior, which city officials now say could involve hundreds, if not thousands, of city-licensed cabs. Are you available? We are undercover on LA's Sunset Strip, where hundreds of taxis are picking up tourists, as well as locals. We get in a cab for a five-mile ride that should be about $15. So why does the fare end up almost double? Is your meter broken? Maybe. Is someone illegally tampering with taxi meters? Frequent cab riders like Dr. Know, Matt Emmons of Westwood are suspicious. Me. Do you wonder if meters are rigged? Oh, I have no doubt that that's the case. How could that be? Once a year, the city requires every cab to have its meter tested at a state-licensed meter shop to make sure it's charging the legal rate of $2.20 a mile. Sir, I need you to back up! After that, every taxi has to pass an annual city inspection. To see how it works, we sent this NBC employee posing as a cab driver to Taxi Masters, a certified shop for his annual meter test. The mechanic tests our meter and gives us a certificate verifying it's accurate. When we ask if they rig meters, not illegal, right? They tell our driver to come back after his city inspection and they'll do it. After inspection, come back and you can put it how you wanna. Our undercover driver returns the next day. You remember me? And now he deals with one of the owners, a man named Gene. We stopped by, I spoke to the mechanic. You know, they say you change the rates. You tell us what you want. And per customer request, we can adjust the rate. We allow yes. them to rig our meter. Right. Do you want the 220? Of course. Oh, yeah. so you do? So I do want the regular rate, of course. Do you want 220, 280, 320? <laughs> that makes sense to me. Okay. Gene removes the meter from our cab and opens it up. He asks our driver not to watch. Then we'll be asking, do you see him do it? He's going to say no. And you're not going to do that? <laughs> Gotta cover our butt. Five minutes later, he puts the meter back in our cab and explains that the driver can now charge higher rates. This is uh, 220. 220. This is 280. This is 320. Simply by pushing a button. You could change while you're driving. That's really cool. And watch this. We send in a second undercover driver to Taxi Masters with a different cab, and another owner rigs the meter. There was a hidden camera watching you. We'll confront them with our proof in just a minute. But first, we want to find out if a lot of L.A. taxis have had their meters rigged. So we took the same cab ride a dozen times from here on the Sunset Strip down Sunset Boulevard, exactly 4.9 miles, to here at the W Hotel, a ride that should be about $15. But when we get in this checker cab, look at the meter. It changes five times in six seconds. At the legal rate, the cab would have to be going 275 miles an hour to change that fast. What should have been a $15 fare Whoa. was over 28. You think you need to have your meter fixed? Yeah. And when we rode this independent uh, cab, know, we're going to the Hyatt on Sunset Strip, we're charged over $27. That seems like a lot. For this when ride. I argue, he slashes our fare. Okay, give me 20, forget it. All told, eight out of 12 cabs we tested. You're not trying to rip us off, are you? Appeared to be charging above the legal rate. This is definitely criminal activity. But not He's surprising to Tom Drischler, LA's taxi like cab administrator. Should the city be doing more to prevent this? Uh, yes. Are you the owner? So how would those no, people at owner. Taxi Masters the explain... I'm, I'm Joel Grover with NBC. ...what we caught them doing on tape? You just changed the rates on this cab. Isn't it illegal what you did to this meter? As far as I know, we just do whatever the driver asks us to do. Look, I didn't realize it was illegal. But that's not what he said to us oh, undercover. It's not legal. You tell me to do it, I'll do it. This is a city of Los Angeles cab. You know the rate is 220 a mile, right? Okay, sir, I have no more comment. 
Well, tomorrow morning, the L.A. City Council plans to discuss our investigation and announce what it plans to do to stop taxis from overcharging the public. And I can assure you, we will stay on this story oh, and see what they do. That is absolutely amazing to watch. I like the part where he said, don't look. Then yeah. you can say you didn't see it. Exactly. Jeez. All right, Joel. Thank you very much. Tonight, we are undercover investigating something that really affects all of us at one time or another, getting your car repaired. This time, investigator Joel Grover has uncovered a new scheme that's never before been caught on tape until now. Joel is here tonight with a th uh, latest on his three-month investigation. Joel. Well, Paul, imagine going to get your car repaired, paying for it, and then finding out the work was never even done. With the help of insiders, we've uncovered an apparent scheme at some repair shops that are part of a nationwide chain with 30 million customers a year. 40, 60, 80, 100. We shelled out a lot of cash. 300 bucks. At repair shops across town. 20, 40, and five. But were the repairs we paid for really done? Listen to this former insider. Does this happen to customers a lot? Every day. Customers of America's biggest lube and tune chain, Chiffy Lube. <laughs> to conduct our investigation, we wired two test cars with hidden cameras in places we'd never put them before, to watch mechanics from every angle. Then we drove one of those cars to this Encino Jiffy Loop to get an oil change. A service advisor named Leo recommends more repairs, like changing the fuel filter. We tell them, go ahead and do it. 240. And then we pay up. But they didn't change the fuel filter. We know that because before taking our car in, we lowered the gas tank so I could get to the fuel filter and mark it with a big four. After leaving that Encino Jiffy Lube, we checked the fuel filter, and the original one with the four was still in the car. Why didn't they change the fuel filter? It's so easy for them to get away with it. Now, why go through the trouble of doing it? You charged us hard-earned money for a repair that you never did. We'll come back to Leo in just a minute. But first, watch what happens when we take our other test car to this Jiffy Lube in Canoga Park. I'll change the transmission fluid. A manager named Anthony recommends a top-of-the-line transmission flush. When you do the transmission, how does that work? What you do it with the machine. A machine called T-Tech, which they're supposed to hook up to the transmission lines under the car to suck out all the dirty fluid. But the entire time our car was being serviced, we noticed no one ever touched that machine. And our hidden camera shows no one ever touched the transmission lines underneath. But they charged us for the T-Tech service anyway. It happened to us again at Jiffy Lube in Glendale. They sucked all the fluid out. And in Sherman Oaks. It's called the T-Tech service. And in Burbank. And you guys did this T-Tech thing yeah. too. Cool. We got stiffed at five out of nine Jiffy Lubes we tested. And no one would explain why. Hi, Leo. I'm Joel Grover. Like Leo at the Encino store. You charged us for a new fuel filter, but you never put it in this car. Why? I don't remember, to be honest. Can I show you yourself on videotape? Yeah. But he remembered... Okay. ...when he saw himself on tape. How do you explain this? I don't know, to be honest. And he rushed away... Were you trying to make an easy buck off us? No. ...to call his district manager. Channel 4's right here. Well, they caught us on camera. They didn't change the fuel filter on a Jeep. And what would Anthony say... Or how are you? ...at the Canoga Park Jiffy Lube? There was a camera in here watching you the whole time. You charged us for a transmission service that you never did. Why? Sir, sir, like I said, you, you would have to um, talk to my district manager. So we tracked down the district manager, Stephen Ayub. Yeah, are you Steve Ayub? No, I'm not. Who denied his identity. Are you the district manager? No, I'm not. He tells us he's just a customer. My name's Alex. Alex, which is your car? That one. Which one? The red one. But that red car... That's your red Camaro back there? Yeah, what's going on with it? ...belonged to another customer. And the district manager was lying to us. I think you're the district manager. I'd like for you to turn off the camera, and I'd appreciate it. Well, Jiffy Lube confirmed to us in this email that was the district manager. Now, they wouldn't speak with us on camera, but in a statement, they told us, they take KNBC's allegations seriously, we'll investigate this matter fully, and take appropriate actions to prevent further occurrences. 
and they promised to refund us all the money for all those repairs that were never done. More of our investigation.